Okay, welcome back to my studio. Today I was going to show you how to make some of these type of prints. They're just leaf prints with gold. I had done a reel on this last year around this time and it was quite popular so I thought I'd share my whole process with you. I have gone out to my garden and picked some leaves and I just wanted to show you what type of leaf to look for. These are hydrangea leaves. And if you notice on the, oh, there's a little bug on the back of that one. If you notice on the back of them, they have a lot of ridges. You can really see the veining in them. Um, it being a hydrangea leaf, hydrangeas love water. So they really soak a lot of water up into their leaves. Therefore, they're very uh, vibrant on the back. I also have uh, a hosta leaf. Now there's all different varieties of hosta. I have never done these before. They don't have all that little veining, but they do have these really pretty long veins. So they, they would stand out quite a bit. I might give them a try today. And then I also have a coleus leaf from a plant that I purchased. It's not necessarily from my garden, but from one of my uh, pots, my potted plants. And they have a lot of ridges on the back as well. And they also have this really cool edge on them. It's kind of fun as well. So look for something interesting, similar to that. Uh, I did pick one other leaf just to show you what not to look for. This is just a um, magnolia leaf, but see how there's hardly any veining on the back. It's real smooth. This is great if you just want an outline of a leaf, but it's not really going to leave uh, a nice impression of veining or what have you. So, okay, we're going to get started. I typically start with a sheet of paper that already has some color on the background. This is a pad of paper that I purchased at Walmart. It had all these varied um, colors, but they have a little bit of a pattern on the back. Nothing really crazy, but it is nice to start with something that has some color on it already. I'm going to pick this blue. this here for a sec. I'm just going to start with some blue color in the background. I'm going to put blue on top of this blue. So this is a Prussian blue and this is a greenish blue. I'm just going to smush that around. It's not quite as dark of a blue that I like. So I'm just going to add a little bit of this deco art. This is called Prussian blue as well. I'm running out of my Prussian blue or I would use more of that. Just going to help us have a really intense background. Okay, at any time in this video, I will probably fast forward through these drying times. It just sometimes takes a long time and you don't necessarily want to sit there and watch paint dry. 
So it makes it quite boring. So there will sometimes be a transition in between how long, but you all, I always tend to pick up a corner and see how well the paint has come off. This is pretty much done. But when we get to doing the gold, I will be fast forwarding through some of that. But now you can see how intense that blue is. And you could do this again if you wanted even more. If I wanted it really dark, I could do another layer just to get it as a really dark background. Okay, so now I'm going to start with the gold. This is called Emperor's Gold Deco Arts. Um, I love this gold. It works really well. They have a variety of different golds Deco Arts do, but this just happens to be my favorite. So we'll do the hydrangea leaves first. I'm just going to put one here. I'm just going to make up a composition on my plate. Actually, maybe I'll do one of each of these different leaves so we can see how they look. What the difference is, we'll compare them. I am trying to dry off. I had had these in water just to keep them fresh. And if you get water on your plate, it causes a little bit of a problem. So just make sure you get them dried off. All right, so we'll put that one there as the coleus. And then I'll do, we have a smaller of this hydrangea. Or not the hydrangea, the hosta. Let's see how that goes. This will be a good experiment. And then just grab a scrap piece of paper, put that over it. This is not the print we're looking for. We're more or less pushing the impression of the leaves down into the plate and really giving it a good press so that all those veins and whatnot show up into the paint. I'm going to peel that off and then you're going to see when I lift this up you can see an impression you zoom in a little you can see the impression of the leaf now in the plate and see I have never done this one kind before it really didn't leave too Good of an impression and again it's because it doesn't have all those other little veins i wasn't sure how that was going to work so this was an experiment but now at this point you do want to let that dry so you're going to let this whole bit dry on there and again this gold paint dries very quickly so it shouldn't take long well okay this is already looking pretty dry so what I'm going to do next is then put another dark layer of paint down. I think I'm just going to use one of these guys. Try this one. This is just a ultra deep blue in the Deco Arts. And this is just going to help that gold impression adhere to your pa your paper. So I'm going to go back and get my piece of paper that we already printed on. Let me zoom this out just a little bit. And I'm going to put that down. Now this will probably take a little bit to dry because the paper has already absorbed some paint. And after that happens, it doesn't suck into the paper as quickly as you would think. So you kind of do need to leave this on here a little longer than you did the first time. The 
because there's already paint on the paper. So it's really paint adhering to paint at this point, not the paper. And that's why it sometimes takes a little longer. So at this point, I probably will fast forward. Okay. This is looking pretty good, other than this leaf here. Really wasn't that great. I'll do one more after this. But now you can really see those gold leaves on there. They look pretty cool. But see how this one, you, it really didn't have a lot of veining. So it kind of is a hodgepodge. But I'm going to do another print, maybe with a green background this time. And all uh, coleus leaves, maybe. I like that one. That looks, it turned out really well. All right, so I'll probably fast forward through this next bit. doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, so there you go. There are a few spots here and there. Might be I just used too much paint. Experiment with it. Try to have some fun. Definitely think the first print turned out better. So I guess I just didn't use as much paint. You can even tell that there's more gold paint in this one than there is in that one. So maybe go a little lighter on the gold and it'll all come up quicker. All right, good luck. Let me know how you make out.